April 2023 I ran the Cop City Half Marathon for one major reason and that reason is just really to qualify for New York City Marathon and um, during the time um, the qualifying time for me for my age group was uh, one hour and 23 minutes gladly I ran inside of that qualifying time so yeah i ran an hour 21 minutes and 40 seconds it was an amazing feeling to be able to you know to hit that qualifying standard during that time and last year for me was just i would say like just a little bit busy um and there was just a lot of things going on and i just wasn't able to really run the New York City Marathon because I would say did not really have enough time to prepare for New York and also just really the logistics and stuff like that so now that is 2024 I think I am really ready to run New York City Marathon but it is not gonna be guaranteed that I can actually run New York City Marathon it's because they prioritize their own races. Cap City is not an NYRR race, so I can submit my, of course, my time, but I'm gonna be on the waiting list. I think the qualifying window, I think it's gonna be maybe like in March, I think. So it's just like hard right now because of that. And I also still want to run a fast marathon because. I still want to improve that 257 that I ran last year. So here's the crazy thing about this 2024. If they give me a slot for New York City Marathon, Columbus Marathon is only two weeks apart from New York City Marathon. So if I'm being honest with you guys, like I was like, I don't even know if I can do this. This is just crazy. Like, like I don't even know if I can recover fast enough to be able to run another marathon in two weeks you know I kept going back and forth for a very long time I said like I don't really know what to do now but I came up with this final decision I said I think I want to do it I've seen people done it and I think I can do it too like I said um, it's just bigger risk for me to do this but I really think that I can do this um, yeah, I'll submit my application, like my time for New York City Marathon. If they accept me, then it would be amazing. It's just gonna be like really crazy if this thing really happened because yeah, I've never done something like this and I think this is gonna be really, really interesting. So just to give you guys an update of everything, so I'm just getting back into shape right now because of course like after the marathon um, had these holidays and everything so I was I give myself a really good break so that I can really recover and just to feel so much better when I go back training again so I would say the first few months of this year I'm not really sure like what kind of race I'm gonna run but uh, it's gonna be like shorter distances so it should be 5k up to the half marathon distance so this is what I do this from the start because I don't wanna do a lot of this when I'm actually already focusing on the marathon distance because for me it's just a little bit risky you know like to to do a lot of that when I'm training for like you know the marathon because it's gonna be a lot more mileage 
for me so like doing all of these fast workouts and like shorter distances it's just too risky so that's why i start the year like this yeah um i've been doing this for like i would say a good three years now and it's working really well for me when i reach the the marathon like i'm really ready for like the mileage and i already have all of this like you know like build up like speed and strength so yeah the mileage is becoming easier for me so this is all for today guys thank you again so much for being here today i'll see you guys in the next vlog mm -hmm.